Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use and edit your default transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. So what is a default transition? Basically, what it allows you to do is set a transition, uh, any of these transitions over here, and it becomes your default. And then all we have to do is click Control and then D, and Command D on a Mac, and it will add that transition into your footage. This allows you to speed up the workflow because a lot of times you'll be using maybe one or two transitions and one of them will be a lot more used than the other one. So you can create that as your default transition and then go through and apply it as necessary. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is just understand that the, the sort of duration of our transition can be changed. If we go to edit and then down to preferences and then over into timeline right here, we click on that, you'll see up here under timeline, you'll see video transition default duration. Now in earlier versions of Premiere Pro, I believe this is under the general setting. So check in both of these places for this. What you can do here is change how long your default transition is going to be. So you'll see that right now it is 30 frames. And since this is a 30 frame per second sequence, that means it'll be just about one second. If you want to go by seconds, you can also do that. Just switch this to seconds. And you know, you can change this to anything. We can make this like a, maybe like 0.5 or let's go 0.5 right there. And so now it's going to be half a second. Every one of our transitions will be half a second whenever we add them. So whatever you want, set this to however you want and then just click OK. Now, if we go over into our effects and we go into video transitions right here, we can go down here and you'll see that there are a bunch of different transitions. And one of them it has a blue box around it. That is currently our default transition. If we want to change our default transition, let's maybe go with the film dissolve right here, or we can go like, let's go the morph cut. All we have to do is right click and hit set selected as default transition. You see the blue box moves down and now it is set to our default transition. So how do you apply the default transition? Well, like I said earlier, it is control on a Mac or on a PC and command on a Mac D. So control D, command D, that's what you need to use. What you do is you go to the point where you need to add the transition in, just highlight both the clips, hit control D, and it'll add that transition in. So now you'll see we have the transition going, and this is actually a transition that takes a little bit of processing power. So let's go ahead and change our default transition. Let's say that instead of that, we wanted to do something a little quicker, the film dissolve, control D, it applies it. And now you can see that we have that quick transition. What's awesome about this is that you can apply it to multiple uh, pieces of footage at the exact same time. So let's say, let's undo that last one. Let's, let's delete that last one. And let's say we wanted to apply the default transition to everything. All we need to do is highlight everything, hit control D. And now every single piece of footage has a default transition added to it. And you also know that there's a, there's one at the beginning and the end. If you don't like that, just go ahead and delete those out of there. Uh, all you have to do is click on it to select it and delete it. And then now let's play this back. And you'll see that at each one of the cuts here, it has that sort of dissolve feel to it. And that is basically how you do it. Really, really simple, but like I said, it can save you a whole lot of time. You have this thing called the default transition available to you. Uh, if you need to change the duration, remember it's in file or it's in edit preferences timeline. If you wanna change which one it is, right click on it over here. And then if you want to, uh, put it into your footage, just hit control or command D and it will put it on your footage. That about wraps it up. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.